Hey, it's James. I thought I'd do things a little different and walk around the room a little bit, stand up. I wanted to tell you some basic ingredients on how to set up a voice broadcast, a voicemail broadcasting campaign to businesses using what I call a blind call. Uh, what you need is a list. You need to pick your list very carefully. Let's just say you're going to call dog groomers of all of all of the, the types of businesses you can call dog groomers. You're a, an insurance agent, and you're going to call them and offer them. Your objective is to sell them some type of policy. Maybe it's a liability policy or something. I have no clue if that's even a, a good uh, demographic or not. Let's say it is. Okay, so you got your list. Now let's talk about your message. Message is going to sound something like this. You record a, you record a message that the dialer is going to drop on their answer machine. And it says, ring, 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 beep. Hey, this is James. Sorry I missed you. Um, I uh, got your number from a colleague. Said that I should give you a call. Anyway, give me a call back. Uh, my number is 555-1212. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you real soon. Thanks. Oh, by the way, if you get my secretary, be sure I said, be sure you tell them I said to put you through. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. Click. So that's a basic message. I just used dog groomers because it's the first thing that came to mind, but there's many more uh, choices and much, whoever you want to sell to, that's, that's who the message goes to. Okay? The point is, it's, it's blind. They don't know why you call, so it's going to cause them to call back. And um, you got to make sure that your message is about 35 seconds or, less, or shorter so that you keep your costs down. Okay, the other part of this is do you want to take the calls personally when they call back or do you want them to go to voicemail? If you want them to go to voicemail, then you're going to need to have a Google Voice number set up. What you do is you get the Google Voice number and you use it as the number on the answering machine message. And you configure in there the settings that all the calls will forward to your cell phone or your office phone if you want to take them live. If you don't want to take them live, they all go to voicemail in the Google Voice system. This is very important. So here it is in review. You have a list of who you want to call. You create a script that's blind. They don't know why you've called, therefore it prompts them to call back. And your job is to create a lead out of their response. Okay? Because it's not a lead yet, it's just a response. But the beauty part about it is it's a decision maker that's calling you back. Okay? And you need to have a Google Voice number. You put your cell phone number in there, and then when you want, you can have the calls forwarded to your cell phone. If you don't want to receive those calls, they simply go to, they stay in the Google Voice answer machine. Sounds good? All right. This is James. I'm out. Call me. Text me. Check out my website, voicemailsecrets.com. Thanks.